Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to wire a three-way switch system, which consists of two three-way switches and a light or a group of lights. When wired properly, you will be able to control the lighting from either switch. This system needs two switch boxes plus the lighting. The power normally comes into one of the switch boxes. In my example, the power will come into the switch box on your left. The circuit breaker is off, but it is very important to always double check to make sure that the electricity is off. This is my fluke voltage detector. You see that it lights up and makes an audible sound when it detects electricity. I'll turn it on and double check to make sure that the electricity is off before starting. The cable that brings power into the first switch box has a black hot conductor, a white neutral conductor, and a ground wire. It is called a 12-2 with ground cable. The black wire in this cable is called the line wire. The second cable in this first switch box has 12 gauge black, red, and white conductors plus a ground wire. This cable is called 12-3 with ground. It's black and red conductors will be used in this system for what we call traveler wires. The white wire is a neutral conductor and the bare wire is a ground wire. This 12-3 cable runs to the other three-way switch box. Once again, the black and red wires will be traveler wires, the white wire will serve as the neutral, and the bare wire will be its ground wire. The other cable in this second switch box is a 12-2 with ground cable. It goes from the switch box to the light gang box. Its black wire is called the load wire because the light is its load. The light gang box will be served only with the 12-2 with ground cable that comes from the second switch box. I will add grounding pigtails to all three of the metal boxes. In this way, the metal boxes will be bonded to the grounding system of the house. I will start by wiring the first switch box. I always start by working on the grounds. This is the new five conductor Wago lever nut. To use them, just open up the levers, put your grounds all the way in, and close the levers. I have three existing grounds in the box and I will need one pigtail for the three-way switch itself. I'll only use four of the five available terminals in this lever nut. Push the lever nut and the ground wires into the back of the box. This is a Leviton Decora Plus three-way switch. Notice that it has a green terminal, which is for the ground wire, a black common terminal, which is for, in the case of the first switch box, the line wire, and it has two bronze colored terminals which are for the traveler wires. First, I'll hook up the ground wire. It goes around the nut in a clockwise manner. Crimp it and screw the terminal down tightly. I'll mark the line wire and the load wire with gold tape to help differentiate them from the traveler wires. Now I'll connect together the two neutral wires using a two conductor Wago lever nut. These particular switches don't need a neutral wire, but since 2011, it has been code that every switch box, with a few exceptions found in the National Electrical Code, must be served by neutral wires. I'll push them into the back of the box. Now I'll attach the line wire to the black common screw. Leviton provides a back wiring system which is an extremely secure way to attach wires. Strip the wire, push it all the way into the terminal, and tighten down the screw securely. Now I'll attach the black and red traveler wires to the bronze terminals in the same manner. It doesn't matter which traveler wire goes to which bronze terminal, but they must both go to bronze terminals. Before continuing, I'd like to quickly show you a diagram of a three-way switch system. 
This goes to the panel, and here is the line wire, and that comes into the first three-way switch. Now, these are toggle switches right here, and I use Decora switches in my example, but this is a good chance to show you how toggle switches work, too. The Decora switches, in my example, had the gold terminals on the same side of the switch. On a toggle switch, you'll usually find them on opposite sides. But here's a very good lesson. You got the black and the red traveler wires, and a good electrician will always put them in the same spot on both switches. You see, here's the black traveler wire on this gold terminal, and it goes up here and comes down, and it goes to the same spot, the same gold traveler wire terminal on the second three-way switch. And the same with the red traveler wire. It goes over here to the same spot. So a good electrician will wire these in the same fashion. And if there is, say, three sets of three-way switches, he will wire them all the same. And they'll all have the same characteristics and operate identically. So here after the second three-way switch, this is the load wire. And it goes to the light along with the neutrals. The neutrals connect together here, they connect together here, and they come over to the light. Then the grounds are represented here and here and here, and they come out over at the light as well. Now back to our demonstration. Tighten them down securely. Check to make sure the traveler wires are on the bronze screws. The line wire is on the black common screw, and your ground wire is on the green screw. I'll use a couple wraps of black electrician's tape to go around the terminals for some extra safety. This gold clip is called the Leviton self-grounding clip. I'll remove the paper washer from its screw. This self-grounding clip can eliminate the need for the grounding pigtail, which I attach to the box, but I prefer to use it as a redundant bonding system rather than relying on it as the only method of bonding the metal box to the grounding system of the house. Tighten down the first three-way switch. Now I'll move over to the second switch and work on its grounds. I'll use a five conductor wiggle lever nut to combine the three grounds and the added pigtail that I need for the switch. Clamp the four levers of the lever nut down to secure the grounds. I'll use a two conductor wiggle lever nut to connect the neutrals. Push them into the back of the box. Put the ground wire around the green terminal in a clockwise manner, crimp it, and tighten it down securely. I'll connect the black load wire to the black common terminal and tighten it down securely. Notice I'm using a Milwaukee ECX driver, which fits the Leviton screws perfectly. I'll connect the black and the red traveler wires to the two bronze terminals and tighten them down securely. Remember, the traveler wires must go to the bronze terminals. I'll wrap a couple wraps of black electrician's tape around the terminals, remove the paper washer from the screw of the self-grounding clip, dress the wires, and screw the switch into the switch box. Now I'll work on the light gang box. I'll use a three conductor wiggle lever nut to connect the two existing ground wires and I'll leave one of the openings in the lever nut for the ground wire that comes from the light. I'll screw down the base plate of the light using the screws that came with the gang box. I'll add the ground wire of the light to the three conductor wiggle lever nut. I'll use a two conductor wiggle lever nut to connect together the two neutral wires. Then I'll use another two conductor wiggle lever nut to connect together the two black wires. Push the wires into the provided hole. Screw the light onto the base plate using the provided nuts. I'll put the diffuser on the light. These are Leviton screwless wall plates. To use them, screw the base portion onto the metal box, then snap on the screwless wall plate. I'll do this for both of the three-way switches. Now I'll turn the circuit breaker on and test out 
the three-way switch system. I'll test the one on the right. It turns the light on. It turns the light back off. The one on the left works fine. The one on the left works good. The one on the right works fine. All sorts of different combinations work just great. This three-way switch system is working just fine. I'll put links in my video description for the Leviton Decora Plus commercial and specification grade three-way switches that I used in the video. Buying the quality switches will really pay off over the life of your switches. I'll also put links for the Wago lever nuts in the two, three, and five connector sizes, as well as for the variety pack. I'll also put a link for my video, Sparky Channel's 15 favorite electrical tools, and I'll put links for all the individual favorites as well. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful.